We're out at Martinac State Park, um, out in, I believe it's Denton, Maryland, and it's raining. It's not a great day. Some people asked me to do a little mini tour of my truck topper I've been working on. Uh, this is just a little rain setup that we, well, canopy setup we just got up temporarily. Um, had to run to Walmart. We weren't expecting rain at all this week, so we threw it up um, just with some garden stakes, parachute cord, um, just ran down into the ground, and then some wood I split up and made little, little stakes with. <clears throat> And the uh, top is just attached by some uh, little hooks. You can see my little solar panel up there. Um, but the truck topper I got for free on Craigslist. It was like $60 and some lady was there and no one else was there. And I was by myself and she asked, or she told me yeah, if I can get it on the truck by myself mine so I jammed some four by four or two by fours on the, on the top just backed right into it and drove away with it so worked out good originally it was blue um, and the clear coat was all chipping really badly so I painted it with just house paint um, you can see it's kind of uneven on the top so it needs another coat but it does the job the top, the little air scoop there, the um, hood, uh, I put on there. I took a trip out to Colorado about two years ago, and it was it was really hard on the truck. The transmission blew out um, on the way back. It made it all the way home, but uh, the wind would just hit and get trapped and rattle and kind of acted like a sail. Did whatever it wanted to do. It was really bad in fuel efficiency, so. I created that little air scoop and it definitely helps a lot on the truck. Um, sorry. Yeah, this is made for a 90s model, like the model before this. So it does, those are a little more square backs. These are a little more rounded. So, um, <clears throat> sorry, you see my finger every so often. It's because I'm trying to shield my phone from the rain. What I did was uh, used aluminum L like half inch. Um, angle brackets and then the bottom is contoured with the hood and it's I used half inch plywood just some utility plywood and then I kind of cut it for the angle of the truck and then obviously flat on the top and then I tied some rope up on the window and kind of made the right angle for it to just scoot right over the top and that worked out it works out pretty well I used foam on the end caps some foam and I contoured it. The foam didn't react so well with the epoxy resin. So um, at first I used uh, canvas and I wrapped it around the whole thing underneath because I had this off at the time and then I stapled it underneath. Um, and then I put some fiberglass resin, just, you know, standard two-part resin over the top of that to sturdy it up a bit and then some fiberglass mat and then some fiberglass, two coats of fiberglass cloth over the top of that. And then I tacked it all on with some self-tapping screws because the top L bracket and this bottom strip here up top and the bottom are my two main mounting points. So those kind of have the most weight and t tension on them. And it's on a 2006, um, it's a 4.3. Uh, V6 so it's, it's not super great for like mountains and stuff um, But it does do pretty well. It's a five-speed So I can kind of really select where I want to go with some newer rims on it um, That doesn't matter that much, but it's a it's good running truck um, So the topper itself it's Veronica and then this is Betty the truck so Veronica Betty Let me see. Hmm. So the back's um, some French doors, or um, I guess refrigerator doors would be another way to say it. Uh, here's Bella up reading. And then I got my queen size mattress fit up in here. And the sides are all carpeted. And the roof is um, half inch ply. 
with, um, you can see I try to bend it on the edges. You have to cut rip, um, slots on the back and it didn't, it didn't work out super, super great, but it worked out on that side. You can see it's a little smoother. And then I capped it with just some more um, runners on the sides there and back there. Um, and that's where I use some fiberglass insulation some like two by four wall insulation that I left over that I just um, kind of stripped in half. And then I put um, plastic bar vapor barrier, obviously after I ran a power cord for the light. Um, and then the rest is just carpeted. Let me see, I have um, an above area where I built that scoop. I just cut out and then carpeted it also. So we have like, our old old clothes and you know a little knickknack stuff it's nice to put the phone up there at night um, the mattress goes pretty much even with the window and these cutouts here also which is nice and you have plenty of room to sit up and not hit your heads all the time depending if you're i'm six foot what are you bella how tall five, are you four, five, five. Five four, so yeah, you can see there's room. <clears throat> Here I have a little aluminum bracket on the fishing rod, and then it goes over my string tree, or yeah, I think it's a string tree, or something like that. Um, for my little homemade ukulele, baritone ukulele. Um, the solar panel runs into um, this controller. Right now, I'm not pulling much. Obviously, it's pretty crappy outside, but just a little cheap top solar. I think we got it for $45 and that came with the controller and then the wires run down. Um, there's my light switch so the light is ran off of the switch. It's just a pull switch and then it comes down to this battery box I have sitting here. That's a marine battery box. I have extra from a boat I'm going to be working on sometime sooner or later. Maybe in like a couple of years. <laughs> Um, so I have just a little 35 amp hour, it's like a trolling motor battery. I believe it's a Mighty Max, um, and that does all right for what we're using it for. And then I have this, um, Everstart 400 watt, um, power inverter to switch it over to standard power. Um, right now I, this is the light cord. I have a little, it has two charging ports for your phone and then uh, the it charges the computer pretty well too it charged it up I'd say within an hour or two hour and a half oh yeah I'll just put that in. so underneath uh, we have our clothes I built this just high enough so we can slide in and out these clothes bins are about in 11 inches high they're the 54 cord quarters um, so Bella has one, and I have my own clothes bin. And then underneath, I have, it might be hard to see right now, but I have uh, just a rolling tote that's full of our, like, our camp stoves in there. A lot of our cooking supplies are in there, and a little, like, dry food storage. And then I have it on this paracord. Um tied to the bed frame so you can just pull it forward you know if, when you need to it's kind of nice to not have to crawl under there and then this should slide back in easily but I'll leave it out for now uh, over here I have my little fire box it's the, actually the battery box um, and then inside just like some food um, whatever food cardboard you have left over it's nice to keep and burn up um, I have, uh, this is old clothes, um, dryer lint from your clothes and your clothes dryer, um, some paper, and then, uh, you can always rip away at the cardboard box. This one's got a lining, actually had two linings, so it's really nice. You can kind of spend what you need starting a fire, and then I have this, uh, fire starting log too that works pretty, pretty good. You don't really need that though. Um, and underneath the rest of it, I have more, um, dry food storage, so that's just, 
whatever dry food you have sitting around that you don't need to cool. Like tonight we're gonna have quesadillas, so you can see I got tortillas. And also um, back there I have another container with my Dutch oven and you know like marshmallow tongs and I think there's a hammock in there. I also have some um, folding camp chairs back there. And underneath I also have my water container. Um, I don't know how many gallons it is. I think it's like six gallons. Um, the spigot goes inside out, so you don't have to carry it like this all the time. But if it's perfectly down here, I have a little um, carabiner clip on there, so you can pull it out to the edge of the truck and then fill up some water bottles um, or wash your dishes. And then it's easy to fill up when you need to. And then above this, I built this little stage. The broom is nice to have. You can sweep off whatever you got muddy track in. I have this three-tier Tupperware sort of thing. This miscellaneous, you know, our coffee percolator, backup shower, um, toiletries, toothbrushes, deodorant, and whatnot. Um, and then, kind of universal, I got more of a junk drawer, just bags, backup ponchos, my multi-tool, my knife. And then you can store it up on top. This is our dish towel, hand towel, hand soap. All it, you know what that is. Um, the lantern is just a paper lantern with a chandelier light in there. Um, I have just a bucket for trash. And if you need to use the bathroom for any reason, if your campsite doesn't have one, keep the shoes under the truck because it's nice and dry. Got my cooler. It's just, you know, standard cooler. Uh, Throw some ice in the bottom, it's good to go. Uh, these curtains were made by Bella's mom. Uh, just used aluminum bar and some poplar heads sitting around. Um, they're nice, they're two-sided. They match the match the sea foam really well. And then, you, yeah, you put those to the side. And then I also have this aluminum bar. So when you're driving, you can still see out the back windows. And also there's one excuse me, long bar there, um, so you can also have a little more privacy. And so this door closes first, it's got a little chain pull, which attaches to the top up here, and then your lockout. Uh, the sides... Oh, nice you can you can open these up and boom I also have fashion forms some there's velcro on the inside so you can um, throw in a I have a little bug net or bug screen so you don't if you're in a buggy place I don't have them today or this week because we don't really need them and then I also installed this a little um, slider window for it before it had a fixed window so now you can slide that shut it's wide open, it's nice, you can crawl right through if you're agile enough to crawl through and grab stuff you need in the truck. So, it works out pretty well. Yeah, that's, that's the setup. I don't think I missed anything. Have a good one.